Today, we've got an intriguing tale to share, the story of how Albert Einstein's brain went missing. Yes, you heard it right, Einstein's brain disappeared under rather unusual circumstances. So, get ready to uncover this captivating story. Let's set the stage first. Albert Einstein, the brilliant mind behind the theory of relativity, passed away in 1955. But his journey didn't end there. Instead, his brain embarked on a remarkable and somewhat mysterious journey of its own. Our story begins in Princeton, New Jersey, where Einstein spent his later years. Right after his passing, in the early hours of April 18, 1955, his brain was removed during an autopsy led by Dr. Thomas Stoltz Harvey, the pathologist in charge. Here's where things take a turn. Dr. Harvey didn't just stop at the autopsy, he decided to do something quite extraordinary. He secretly preserved Einstein's brain without the family's knowledge. Dr. Harvey's decision to keep Einstein's brain was surrounded by mystery. His belief was that by studying Einstein's brain, he might uncover the secrets behind the physicist's remarkable intellectual abilities. Naturally, this sparked a significant ethical debate. Was it ethical for Dr. Harvey to retain Einstein's brain without consent? And what could we truly learn from such an endeavor? Over time, numerous scientific studies were conducted on Einstein's brain, with the aim of finding unique characteristics that might explain his genius. Some researchers claim to have found differences in specific brain regions, while others question the significance of these findings. It's important to note that the scientific community remains divided on the true implications of these studies. Some argue that Einstein's brilliance cannot be solely attributed to the physical features of his brain. Finally, in 1998, the unauthorized possession of Einstein's brain by Dr. Harvey came to an end. After years of preserving the brain in jars and boxes, it was returned to Princeton Hospital, where it was kept securely. The brain was eventually reunited with Einstein's ashes, and the physicist's final resting place was restored to its traditional state. So, there you have it, the unusual and captivating story of the stolen Albert Einstein brain. It's a tale that raises questions about the ethical boundaries of scientific curiosity and respect for the deceased. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more captivating stories like this one. And, as always, share your thoughts in the comments below, suggesting other intriguing topics you'd like us to explore in future videos. Thanks for tuning in today, and until next time, keep that spirit of curiosity alive.